We start in Hong Kong, where a tense standoff between police and protesters is continuing at the city's Polytechnic University. That's where demonstrators are surrounded by police after intense clashes between them. Now, as night falls on Hong Kong, uh, this is the scene outside the university itself. A relative calm, in fact, descending over the campus and the environs. But this comes as the High Court ruled that the city's ban on protesters wearing those face masks, everyone's doing it, of course, still, it seems, was nonetheless unconstitutional. Let's go a bit earlier in the day when we had uh, signs of further violence as protesters tried to get out of the besieged campus itself. Police responded, they used tear gas again, uh, pellets as well. Something like 40 arrests were made then. The clashes spilled over into the surrounding streets as well. Officers have ordered those inside to drop their weapons and surrender. Uh, the standoff has dragged on for more than 24 hours now. Dramatic scenes time and again, actually. At one point, students attempted to avoid volleys of tear gas fired at them by the police. Students say the atmosphere inside is chaotic. Supplies have been cut by officers, uh, by all accounts. Several hundred people thought still to be in the campus itself. Um, this is the moment that police stormed parts of the campus in a pre-dawn raid. Several further arrests were made uh, overnight there as well. Now, the president of the Polytechnic University has appealed for calm and issued this appeal to the protesters. If the protesters do not initiate the use of force, the police will not initiate the use of force. In addition, we have also received permission from the police for you to leave the campus peacefully and I will personally accompany you to the police station to ensure that your case will be fairly processed. Well, our correspondent Robin Brandt is outside the Polytechnic University. He's been reporting for us the moment, in fact, dozens of demonstrators got out of the campus. So it's 1.45 and all of a sudden we hear tear gas and you look down and see a large crowd of protesters. They're basically making a run for it. I think there must be maybe a hundred of them. They came running out over the barriers, a large amount of tear gas fired down in their direction. And this is them escaping, basically. You can hear what the police are doing in response. It looks like most of them have been successful in their escape. I think maybe one or two are being detained and arrested down here by the police. But essentially what the police are doing is firing tear gas at them. And now the protesters are getting over the barriers that they themselves or their friends constructed in the last 48 hours. But this looks like a fairly successful break. Robin Brandt there. It's around about seven in the evening now. I should point out the Polytechnic isn't the only place where protests have been taking place across Hong Kong in the course of the day. These pictures filmed by a BBC team. Uh, this was about 600 metres further up the street. We can hear from some of the students who escaped the clashes in the university itself. They've been telling reporters that they were in fear of their lives. Yesterday, 11 p.m., uh, the police tell no, uh, we get the information from our cell phone which say the police will let us leave at the uh, block Y and which some protesters de decided to get away from there. Then about f 50 protesters get away from there and they all got arrested. And then we are afraid that once if we lost this battle and then we'll n not only we lost uh, the last poly U and then the the tunnel. It's um it's that we we lost the whole revolution. Well, one thing seemed clear: the police uh, do appear to have sealed off the polytechnic buildings. But of course, still a lot of protesters on the streets nearby. Our correspondent Martin Yip sent us this. Yet again, this familiar scene of a supply chain formed at a protest site in Hong Kong. This is Team Sha Chui East, uh, just around 600 meters south of the Polytechnic University, which is under siege since Saturday all the way into this uh, Monday morning. There's still hundreds of people trapped inside. And these people, these people have come, some of them since lunchtime, to try to set up a barricade just outside there. Uh, they've been doing rounds and rounds of chase with the police. Uh, tear gas has been thrown. Brakes like these size have been thrown as well. 
There's still that Zanata back of supply moving towards us, towards the barricade. And they'll be challenging this slogan of save the children, get to the Polytechnic University. They are here in support of those students who are apparently still trapped inside while we are seeing not much sign of them giving up and coming out because the police did release statements saying they would request those who are protesting inside the university to leave peacefully and in an orderly manner. But there were also scenes where protesters tried to come out from the compound but ended up being greeted by tear gas. Martin, yep, there will darkness has fallen again in Hong Kong. Uh, we wait to see how that situation develops in the course of the hours ahead and we'll be right across it here for you on BBC World News.